here, take a look at this weapon. It sends out a little bee, which explodes, and then just kind of sits there for a while, and then poof! Yeah. I found that. It's a legendary weapon I found recently, but I don't think it's going to disturb our top 10 rare weapons anytime soon. It's a bit pump. Um, I'm just on this moon planet here on our Let's Play Starbound Volcano Colony Let's Play. Just going to get a bit more fuel because I seem to be a bit low on that at the moment. Okay, so this is going to be the last episode of our series. Um, I think we're at a place where our colony is fully stocked with diverse tenants um, anymore, and the frame rate will start to get a bit loopy, I think. Um, and we'll just be repeating ourselves in the series anyway. Um, so in this episode, we'll discuss whether a volcano colony is really feasible at all um, if there's meteors landing all over the place. Uh, we'll also attract our last tenants, including hopefully the Maggot Man. Um, we'll polish everything up, we'll build a fallout shelter that I was going to do in that Misanthropes episode. Um, and I think we'll just generally discuss the future of Starbound, because it's um, lots is happening at the moment. It's all very exciting. Uh, other than, you know, gathering fuel. That could do with a little bit of excitement added, I think. <laughs> right, back on the ship. So I think the, um, the fallout shelter will be our priority. So I've been um, rummaging through my chests, and the outpost chest has furnished me with a lot of stuff like hazard tape or whatever, which we're going to use as a good building material. Plus loads of wacky signs, really, like do not enter and biohazard and stuff like that. Uh, we'll probably use things like steel blocks for the walls. Uh, and for the background, we'll need... Well, I've got shitloads of clay, so I thought we might actually... Hang on. Um, use that. And um, where is it? I think it's brick. And let's have a look. Bricks, there we go. That just requires shitloads of clay, and I've got shitloads of that. Um, hang on. 999 bricks. Yeah, that should be plenty. Right, let's go to the basement. Um, my plan is to put the fallout shelter as low down as possible. We're going to use the existing cave system. Bloody hell, though, a lot of people. <laughs> we're going to use the existing cave system so we're not forever digging out lots of nonsense. Um, so first of all, um, I need to get rid of this mate, matey boy. Right, go. And I'm going to seal that in. Um, not quite. Just so they don't follow me into death. Um, not that I really give that much of a shit. Right, so I've um, dug this small little tunnel. This is the um, this is the room that we didn't know what to do anything with in the last one. Um, I was going to make it into a bog, and then I couldn't be bothered. So let's just dig that out. Oh! Right. <laughs> um, I came down here pretty much at the beginning of the series looking for stuff. And it just ended up in a lot of lava. So that was that sketch. Knackered then! Oh no! There's, it's absolutely crawling with these buggers. So yeah, we are going to have to dig out all the background material to make sure that things don't spawn. Which will take... Forever. So, let's have a look. Um, I've been down there as well, but that was just a bit of a shit cave. So we're just going to have to sort of like use these... Oh no! We're just going to have to use these caves as a kind of like a fallout corridor or something. Could we go over there? There's a lot of ash we could mine out. Or we could make it go all the way down here. Oh! That's that heat... Oh, let's get rid of these. Oh! That's that healing water that we spilt in <laughs> ages ago. God, there's so much fallout from, <laughs> um, from previous episodes. And this, in some cases, quite literally. Um, let's just sort that out for now. Um, yeah, this, oh, this is a this is a huge area. Yeah, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a fallout area. Uh, uh, uh. Right. Okay. So, I st oh god, this is gonna be another one where I just have to spend hours digging out the background. Um, well, I'll come to that. And um, first of all, I'll start on the tunnels. Uh, right. So we start here. Let's have a look at my inventory. Um, I think I should put everything that I need in one place. In fact, let's put the bricks up there. I don't want to use castle bricks anymore because I'm bored of that. I want to make our colony look different. And later on, we'll put the finishing touches to our colony and make it look a bit snazzier. I think which will be fun. Um, what am I looking for here? That steel blocks. And also that hazard tape, which I think works as a, uh, as a material, but I'm not 100% sure yet, so we'll have to try that out. So, we'll put some of that up there. In fact, yeah, we'll put the steel uh, in there as well. So let's break some ground. Um, let's do it on this side. So put some of that. Oh dear, it's gone wrong already. It's gone wonky. This ah, oh, wonky, wonky, wonky. Hup, get rid of that. Um, it's furnished us with Pixel Six. I'm rich. Ugh. Uh, okay, so this is um, I think it's going to be a smooth ch oh tube that goes. Pretty much downwards in a straight line. And then I can put maybe like sky rail or something to smooth the passage. Get out of the way, Torch! And... Oh! 
Oh, this is just a... Oh, I don't like doing all this. This is going to take forever. And I'm going to have to dig out the background and wah, wah, wah. Right, so I'm using these little passages, these sub-passages, as just a little extra bonus bit. Um, just, I like the idea of having mysterious tunnels to nowhere. And we can even make these into little houses, um, if we fancy it. Uh, okay. Uh, the in interesting thing is um, uh, the the future future updates of Starbound are going to... We'll, we'll, we'll discuss quite a lot of these things in the course of the episode. Uh, one of the things I should mention is that frame rate performance is finally being addressed. Because you've seen how uncertain like um, dungeons and colonies even, especially my snow colony, um, the frame rate just drops through the floor whenever there's a lot of NPCs around. Also on the outpost as well. And it's really been annoying, but apparently in the nightly builds, which are the testing builds that come out every night, uh, which you have to opt, opt, in, opt into, um, uh, it's already been addressed, I think it was in February, um, but hopefully the next update will actually put that into the main game, and we won't be struggling all the time. I think I need to do a lot of uh, doors. Um, where the hell are doors these days? There should be sliding doors in my basic crafting. Um, why can't I see them? Oh, I'll put a random door. No, there's a sliding door thing in there, isn't there? Huh. I'm probably doing something really obvious. We'll put, a, we'll put a wooden door in there. That wasn't quite what I had in mind. Uh, also, this end of things isn't great. So let's put another wooden door in. I think it's a glitched castle door, that one. Yep, it, is, it sure is. Now, technically, we could put a tenant in there. Um, I'd have to put some furniture in there. Uh, let's see if there's any shitty furniture. Uh, because we'll, we're still, still yet to get the materials for our maggot man. I think we're also going to do a window salesman, because you can do that by going to the prison biome, and which should be fun. So let's put in... what's that? Oh, another one of these data stations. <laughs> Why not? And also that flesh chair we're going to put in the um, in the odd uh, tenant room. Also this seaweed pot, which we forgot to put in the sauna. And a tar man. So this is going to be the most random bloody house in the world. Uh, shout out to Minecraft Build Roulette. Let's put in the tenant deed thing there, and see what happens now. Well, he's certainly odd, um, and he's innocent, apparently. But innocent of what? Being a decent tenant. Oh, don't go down there. Uh, that might be a design flaw in this house. Hang on. There. Now you're fine. Now you won't die. If you can just... Oh, he's in the way. Oh, you fuck. No, oh, well, you can die then. Piss off. <laughs> right, so now we need to go down here and start on the actual fallout shelter itself. Because I think that's going to be... Where did I say? Just over there, isn't it? Oh god, this is going to be another bloody um, um, mining extravaganza. So, um, guess what? Um, the hazard tape doesn't do what I thought it did. I thought it was a building material. It's not. It's decoration. That is not in the background. It's That's foreground material. So I won't be able to use that for my actual building. I'm sure I'll be able to incorporate it somehow. Oh, hello. Oh yes, um, I haven't actually put any background in yet. Um, I've dug out all this. That should be absolutely plenty. I've started building the actual thing as well, um, the, using steel. I mean, you're going to have to use a lot of steel and bricks, I think, for this fallout shelter. And don't worry, we'll, we'll put in lots of decoration like a biohazard sign, which will make it feel a bit more fallouty. Um, oh god, look at all this crap. And this takes forever to mine. This is why it's taken so long so far. Uh, okay, so this little shoot down here. I'm coming on quite nicely. Uh, uh, yeah, once again, I think I've bitten off way more than I, than I can chew. Um, if, I, if I didn't edit these episodes, they'd last about ten hours. Bloody hell. So I think this is um, this is going to be the fallout shelter. Um, nice, thick walls. It definitely needs um, to be divided up into different rooms, so we can make sure that um, there's, we can have room for our maggot man, uh, also the window salesman, um, so we can go and get our furniture in a bit for that. Um, so I'm using the scaffolding method here. I'll probably tear all this stuff down. Um, nearly there, though. That's pretty much it. Oh, oh, left some room there. I probably should put in some... Oh, God, I've run out of bloody... Oh, I can't be possible to go make some cl um, brick, more bricks. Um, okay, so... In fact, I'll just use just enough here. Um, and then we can bung in a door. Um, again, hopefully we'll replace these doors with something better at some point. Because um, at the moment I feel a little nervous about it all. Um, put in some rare background steel. Um, I'll sort of, yeah, I'll make it a bit prettier at some point. Um, maybe after the series is finished. <laughs> make, so, therefore, I never have to do it if I say that. Uh, take down the scaffolding. Right. Okay, so, I do need to put in some... I do really want to still... Oh, I need a door here as well. Uh, hup, there we go. 
Um, yes, I do want to put in some of this tape, and now I've actually bloody got it. But I haven't quite sure, decided where I'm going to put it just yet. Uh, maybe some, like, here. Uh, some here. I have no idea what why I'm doing this now, but since I bloody well went and got it, I'm going to bloody well do it. Oh, bloody, get down there. There, now you know you're entering Death Zone 3000. Um, let's put in a... Um, actually, let's save that for the inside. So let's put him. Um, yeah, here we go. This is more like it. Um, do not enter, you prick. <laughs> I could go make a custom sign that says that, but I'm not going to. Right, so this is going to be the do not enter fallout room. Um, yep, very rectangular. So I think we need to put in a few extra walls. Right, there we go. Um, I tried it putting in a wall in vertically, but it just didn't really work for me. So we're doing it horizontally. Now, I don't put too much furniture in because we need to put other furniture in. But first of all, let me just put in what we need to put in. Let's make this the biohazard room. Yes! And down below, well, we need, we need a teleporter at some point because this can be the super uh, fallout teleporter. I can go right in the middle of this guy's room, whoever he turns out to be. That's a bit shit, but never mind. Um, okay. Let's call it Fallout Shelter. Right, I need to replace these bloody doors. I've got one sliding door, um, but that's about it. Uh, so it's like a, a mixture of old-fashioned and new. Kind of retro sci-fi sort of feel. Who's that? Oh, it's you. Oh, it's you. Oh, no. They've come to see my Fallout Shelter. Oh, it's going to put a teleporter there. Oh, they're going to get in my way. Oh, yeah, fucks. Oh, don't make me regret this. Mumble, mumble, bloody intrusive, bloody tenants. What do they take me for? Uh, right, let's go off this bloody moon. Well, I think I'm in a system where there is a midnight planet and several frozen planets. Um, frozen planet. We'll come to that one in a bit. Um, yeah, let's go to the midnight planets. I haven't been to one of these for ages. I think these spawn around... Um, they're not particularly common. I think they spawn around frozen stars and also um, hot stars. Um, and maybe somewhere else. They are quite a difficult planet type, so you won't see them early on. Um, okay, so while we're doing that, um, other things that um, are coming soon to Starbound? Um, well, existing NPCs on planets will actually start to generate random quests, just like the um, the colony NPCs. And, and also there'll be something like a quest compass to keep things in order too, uh, which should be interesting. Oh yes, they'll also be adding high lotl dungeons, finally. And we had some trouble in a few, a few episodes ago about attracting them because we couldn't find any furniture. Um, but that won't be a problem soon. Right, so okay, so we're hope hopefully there'll be a, a hive biome on this planet. Uh, not going right <laughs> into the water. Let's try over here. Right, so we need hive furniture. I don't... I think I'm, I think it's possible for me to craft a few bits of... Well, maybe one bit of hive furniture at the moment. But we'll definitely need some hive blocks, because I definitely don't have any of them. And also, I think baby lava blocks. That's one of you bloody evil giraffes that belch something. Oh, here we go. Um, here's a... This is a hive biome, isn't it? Um, and presumably they're hive blocks. Fairly tough. Not as much as Magnarok. Oh, and those presumably are baby lava. I haven't been to one of these places in ages. There's some of those unique bloody evil scythe monsters. Uh, which is why I don't want to spend vast amounts of time here. Because they will chop our faces off. Oh, it, uh, there he goes. Uh, hang on. Might want to heal. I wonder how... Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's back! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! Uh, yeah. These are vicious little... Oh, there's another one! These are vicious little sods. And there's got contact damage, of course, as well. Ugh. Right, I don't like this place. Don't like it at all. Uh, we need to find some chests, of course. Um, but at a pinch, I will be able to craft some stuff, as I say. Um, yeah, this is just <laughs> doing it the easy way. I won't need that many, thinking about it. So let's just run along the planet and hope for some chests with some blueprints in so we can craft some stuff. Or we might find fully formed furniture. Who knows? Right, so this will attract us our maggot man, as I say. Oh, there he is again. Um, and then we'll have to go to a frozen planet for the prism biome. Have I been here before? Oh no, this is a... Um, <laughs> I was going to say, this is actually um, a naturally occurring thing. I just thought... I definitely haven't been to a midnight planet any time recently. And what's this? Lava legs? Hello? Um, right, which one is it? This one, isn't it? Oh, look at that! <laughs> uh, oh, and a hive lamp. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Oh, there's a way of doing this automatically. Someone told me about this in the comments. Um, oh, I can't remember how it worked now. 
Uh, no, I'll just have to do it um, manually instead. Learn to craft hive lamp. Well, we're well on our way. Already, we have some furniture. Oh, look at me. <laughs> oh, no. Looks like I'm dressed like the back end of a horse in a pantomime. Fantastic. Okay, uh, a bunch of gathering later. Got loads of um, raw materials now. So let's have a look at what I can actually craft now. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a mixture of old and new things. Uh, can't do a bed. Need some fabric. Oh, that's that. that um, time for to um, get some of this. 89? Yeah, whatever. Right, okay, so let's do that again. Uh -huh. Hive. Right, there we go. So, one bed. What else does these things need? The baby lava and hive block. So once you've found the blueprints, it's um, dead easy. Uh, a couple of chairs. Let's make two chairs. Let's be um, Let's go mad. Um, hive lamp. And there we go. Um, maybe another one as well. Right, okay, so that's the furniture for the hive thing. Okay, so let's have a quick look at... Um, what is it? I think it's prism furniture from Frozen Planets. Oh, God. At the moment, I can make a bed, which requires... Um, most importantly, prism shard and glass block. So prism shard is what I'll need to collect at the frozen planet. Okay, there's a few frozen planets. Um, let's have a look. Um, one there. Bloody hell! <laughs> look, there's another volcano colony planet. Excellent. Three? Oh, good. Uh, yeah, let's go to this one. Uh, let's, I know what we'll do. Well, well, before I forget, and because, because this is important... Very important for the video. Let's put in my liquid aqueous fuel. There we go. Now we shall never run out for a while. Ooh, this is all pretty and purple. Oh, I like this. I haven't been on a frozen planet in a while. Oh, hello, campfire. Anyone around? Oh, it's you. No. No. Bad blue thing. And you. What are you? Oh, it's a... Yeah, you, you spit things. Uh, let's see if I've got my car... Let's get my car out of storage. Um, I've, I've healed it recently. There it is. I've healed this recently, which is a useful thing to do. Hup. There we go. Hup. Get in. Get in the fucking car. <laughs> there. <clears throat> Wireless keyboard playing up again. Oh my god, what's that? Uh, I, I don't know. Um, it looks like an outpost thing. Although, the, oh, hang on. There was a frozen chest. Yeah, but frozen chests aren't what we want. We need prism chests. No time to worry about these sorts of things. Let's just go, go, go. Yeah, snow, snowy frozen planets. They take a bit of a frame rate hit as well. Ooh, it's one of those big crates. Got one of those in my snow colony planet. Uh, oh, a funny little thing. Looks like... Oh, no, that's a big drop. Uh, it's not really. <laughs> Thankfully, these cars can take quite a beating. I'm talking about transportation, actually, sky rails, I think, are basically being sort of phased out in the updates. Sort of. They're being replaced. Um, the developers have announced they're adding, kind of like, uh, a, a replacement to them, which will allow you to make Mario-style moving platforms. Come on, get back. Get, get, get out. Get back in my pod. There we go. Oh, Snouty! Hello! Um, so, yeah, they'll be able, you'll be able to make Mario-style moving platforms as well as actually use the rails in their old-fashioned style, where you do this and go, like, overhead with your wheelie type thing. Uh, let's get out of here. Hopefully... Oh, blimey. Hello. Hang on, what's happening? Hello. Oh, it's just those bloody things. So, what do you want? Uh-oh. You want uh-oh. And uh, I'll just leave her to it. Oh, <laughs> she's, she's gone anyway now. Never to return. Never mind. Okay, so we're basically now just um, trudging the planet, I'm afraid. So we're noticing all this, um, all this diagonal stuff that generates with the... Oh, fuck. <laughs> all this diagonal stuff that um, the landscape generates. Oh, there's none of these campfires. Oh, hello, I'm in a prison biome. Yes, good. Right. So we say all these diagonal things that are elements of the landscape that these uh, these frozen planets generate do, does mean that if you're on a if you're on a bike, a hover bike, you should be going left to right. If you go right to left, you keep on getting snared on things. So don't. Right. Okay. I seem to start collecting um, those crystally type things. I guess. How do you actually collect them? They, don't, they seem to be breaking. Uh, is that a prism chest? It's an ice chest. Oh, but it does have a prism magenta lamp blueprint. Put that into there. And also a teleporter core, which is all very nice. Right, so we've already got something. Okay, so they could also they, they could appear. Oh, oh, hang on. No, they can also appear in just basic ice chests. How do we get prism shards then? None of these are really dropping them. 
Hmm, maybe the, um, maybe it's a tree. Oh, it's a narwhal! You little bastards. Yeah, those, those are indigenous to, um, prism biomes. Am I picking up, I'm still not picking up prism shards. Why is that? Hmm. Right. One, um, I apparently I already knew how to craft a bloody prism magenta thing. Two, apparently prism shards have been taken out of the game. Um, I've just looked it up. And they're not, it's not bloody, bloody... So apparently you can't actually craft um, prism furniture at the moment, which seems jolly unfair. Um, so I'm fucked. I might have to think about getting a different tenant in. I know. I know. Um, plan B. Um, frozen planets also have uh, steampunk um, biomes in them. Uh, and then we can attract a different type of tenant, one that relies on that sort of furniture. Um, Planet-wise, there's loads of frozen planets in this in this system, but just to save a bit of time, I think from ages ago, where is it? Yeah, the St Steam Spring Go Left one. This is from ages ago. Um, I'll, I'll be able to go to a um, Steam Spunk bloody bastard. <laughs> where am I? What the fuck is this? Oh, this is on the um. This might actually be on my snow colony planet. Oh, I don't think it is actually, but it's um. It was part of when I was building my snow colony. So, I might have already um, taken all the stuff out of the bloody biome. Um, in which case, I, I will actually might be able to craft some of this furniture. Some cool... Uh, actually, there are some cool baddies in these biomes. So, yeah, they're a lot of fun. They're all kind of, like, lighty and steampunk. Oh, gold. Hang on. Yeah. So, the raw material for this... Oh, hello. Yeah, I love these. These are cool. <laughs> Watch, I, love his, I love how he blows his top. There he goes. Right, so, yeah, hopefully, I think... If I take this stuff down, I think this is crafting material for the for the stuff. Um, all this kind of copper gears and stuff like that. So I'll, if I just harvest some of this, then we'll be able to go back to the ship and then actually hopefully get some furniture, provided I know how to craft it. Uh, if not, well, balls. Balls to everything. Have at. Have at, you parping bastards. Yes, by the looks of it, I have absolutely annihilated some of these houses. So I'm not going to get much raw material from it, and definitely no chests. So let's go back to the um, ship and see what we can actually make out of steam spring stuff. Uh, then we can hopefully attract the inventor tenant. Uh, probably him. You know, do it here. Steam. Steam spring bed. Uh, that's not very much. Um, pipe. Um, yeah, there's, there's other stuff as well. Let's... Oh, God. Boiler. I, I wish you could do this by um, a bloody uh, tag. So there are a few things, but they've all got weird names. So, um, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure I can find some in my, one of my chests. They're still here. They're still here! <laughs> Including my alpaca. So slim pickings on the steampunk front. And we have got a bit of stuff. All kind of um, uh, things like gears. Floor gears. So I'm not 100% sure whether this counts, um, but we'll try it. We'll make the bottom one this steampunk room, and see what else have I got. Oh, nice little lantern, actually. That'd be nice. Get out of the way! Fuck off! God. <laughs> oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Right. More gears. More gears. Oh! Ugh, Fuck it, I'm going upstairs. I'll come back to that room. They won't be able to find me up here. Right, now we need to do the hive, so we can get our maggot guy. A uh, little table. A chair. Oh, that's a really cool chair. Um, we can set up that one. Have another one in the corner. What's that? A lamp. Here's our lamp. Put it under there. The make it nice little hazard. Uh, and another light. Well, that one can go... Oh, <laughs> right next to the other one. Fuck it. Right, okay, so that should maggot us up something nice. I'll have to do it. Yes! Maggot man! Alex Peters, who wonders if someone is secretly controlling their life. It's me! And look, I've got the same body as you! Look, let's have a little bum to bum. Oh, you don't like the bum to bum, do you? Oh, you bloody maggot. Oh, he's following me now. <laughs> now he's interested in bum to bum. Ugh. Right, okay, they've moved. They've bloody well moved. Oh, get out of the... <laughs> maggot man. No. No maggot man. Right. Come on. Is that enough? And put the deed down, and... 
Oh, oh um, wrong tenant. Um, I just got attacked. What the fuck's going on? Oh, bloody hell. Things never go right. Right, so one bit of research later, uh, and a bit more um, raiding of steampunk biomes. Um, I've discovered a lot, uh, all the stuff that I put in um, only has the mechanical tag. It doesn't count as steam spring furniture. So, uh, well, now I've got some steam spring... <laughs> whatever the fuck it's called. Um, and we should do that instead. Hopefully this will count. Um, that's a bed, I think. That's a lamp. Let's put the... No, let's not put the lamp on the bed. That might be enough. Um, let's put in... Oh, that's, that's where I was going to put the bloody deed. Hang on. Right, put that somewhere else. Still got that deed, haven't I? There it is. Put the deed there. There he is. That's the inventor. Ah. Right, so finally, finally, we've got our final tenants onto our starbound colony. Uh, put the light in there. Right, that's a very strange little fallout shelter. Um, it seems I've lost the whole fallout theme to it uh, somewhere along the line. <laughs> But I like it. It's a nice little um, hidden area to find. Um, also, of course, this prick over here, who's now talking to... Oh, I don't know what's going on there, but it's um, it's very crafty. Um, no one is falling into the lava, I hope, so far. So I think... What's this? Ah! Oh! Uh-oh. Oh! It's happened again. I think we've been hit by meteors. And all these rooms are all fucked up. Yeah. Okay, so... The long-term future of a volcano colony. I don't think it has one. Um, I don't think there's any point in making one. Um, I said after ten episodes. <laughs> because realistically, um, the game just isn't built for it. I said this, I said um, basically to uh, stuff to this, uh, um, stuff along these lines in the previous episode, that no matter how good you are, somehow the meteors always get in, thanks to presumably flaws in the actual game design. Um, because how the hell do the meteors kind of leap down through the shield and get here, just because you happen to be on screen nearby. Um, I don't know, it all feels a bit ropey to me. Um, there's no doors here. I'm going to craft yet more bloody sliding doors. Uh, craft some of them, put some of that in there. Yeah, so, I mean, all our searches for like materials that can withstand meteors, fairly pointless really, because somehow the meteors will always get in and destroy your furniture or something. Not quite sure why that tenant managed to survive, whilst this one didn't. Uh, what was below there before then? Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, the um, the thing sign was just not quite working properly. Right, okay, so that's that repaired. Although there's gunk in the background. I think it's. I still think it's something to do with the background. Oh fucking hell! The water's gone. My son is. Oh, everything's buggered. Right, okay. Put that in there. Nice little bit of heating. I should put some steam spring stuff in here. That'd have been um, make it really sonatastic. Uh, we haven't got any healing. Oh yes, we've got we've got plenty of healing water. We've got water for days, and the sauna's back up to strength. As soon will we be because we're healing nicely. Uh, okay, so that buff will continue for a while. God only knows what the new tenant is. I didn't even notice. Uh, this room's safe because I've repaired it about five thousand times. Uh, apparently, the um, the robot is trying to fuck the ape chef. Um, good luck to them. That doesn't look like it was there before. I'm going to start collecting rent as well, because I'm, I'm desperately short of cash now. Uh, what's this? 350. Well, this is something I should actually mention. There's an interesting fact about building on a volcano planet that I hadn't actually noticed until... Well, until I actually looked at the, um, the research. I get the highest average rents from my tenants in a, on a volcano planet. Um, it's something to do with the, um, the level of planet you're on. If you're a tier 6 extreme planet, you get... Oh god, look at that. Up there. More crap. If you're on an extreme planet, the rents you get are between something like 300 and 550 pixels, if you happen to get cash, uh, which isn't all the time. Sometimes you get fucking bandages. If you try and build a colony on a tier 1 planet, a harmless planet, you'll get rents of about 100 to 300, and based on probabilities and stuff like that. So yeah, it's um, does that make it worth building on a volcano planet? No. <laughs> There's no discussion. This, is a, this was a silly idea from the start. <laughs> yeah. So that teleport has managed to survive the whole time. Uh, nobody's giving me any rent at the moment. Let's check out the guard and make sure that's safe. God damn it. Yeah, this is looking pretty tasty. Oh, there's the ape chef. Um, come on, give us some cash. 
Some more bandages. Come on, I'm poor. I'm a poor, undeserving bloke. Okay, so we're going to finish off by tarting up the place just a little. Um, just to like finish off all those little things that I've been meaning to. It would probably mean nothing at all, to be honest. Um, just want to have a bit of a look around, see if there's anywhere that looks a bit crap. And maybe put some extra furniture in. So that can change. Because um, that, we don't want bare rock showing. Apart from the meteorite, crypt house type thingamabob. Uh, there's... The <laughs> only, I think only he gets a, um, a bog. Rather than the guy over to the left who's got a royal bog. Um, yeah, let's clear up this bit, because this bit looks a bit pump. Um, let's just um, absolutely fill it full of this. Uh, we've still got plenty of this material left. Well, 50. That's not very much at all, actually. Uh, yeah, there we go, nice and smooth. This was another site of a meteorite right here. Uh, there's the bell. Oh, this is just a, um, <laughs> a patchwork of um, things that went wrong, isn't it? Um, yeah. Don't make colonies on a volcano planet, you daft sod. That's you, not me. I I didn't do anything wrong. Snow globe. Oh, you can have a snow globe. Uh, what else have I got? Sea lamp. I don't know why I've got a sea lamp. Oh, I know, because the, um, the sauna. Yeah. Let's put the um, sea lamp back in the sauna. Let's put it there. There's already one in there. Uh, where did I put it originally? It must have been in the water, I think. There we go. All nicely lit up. Uh, we probably need some more lights here and there. Um, let's put one there. Feels like there should have been that one there already. Oh, what? <laughs> I failed a quest um, because a meteorite just destroyed the bog house. The, uh, the electrician's house. Holy fuck! What? That must have been a big one. Oh, fucking hell. Look, the welcome to the Starbound Colony sign's gone. The wiring's fucked. An entire house has been demolished. Fucking electrician. Fucking electrician. I'm blaming him now. He was a target. And the bell's gone. No, not the bell. Let's, let's have a go on the top. Um, is there a top? I don't think there is anymore. This is the, this is the shield. Oh, I see. I see. Thanks, S.H.I.E.L.D. Once again, you've proved your bloody, bloody purpose. Uh, fuck it, let's just put a boiler there. There! Our colony is now complete, somehow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Right, fuck this entire series. So, as we fly off into the unknown, brackets, an ocean planet somewhere. <laughs> what else can I say, really? Um, well, when the next updates uh, do drop, I think there's going to be a couple more updates, um, and then possibly the um, 1.0 release might be the second update, or it might be the third update, and then we'll do some Let's Plays in that, we'll have a look at what's new in the game, and we'll do all the usual explorations and stuff like that. I'm particularly looking forward to all the questing stuff, because that means we can start afresh, which I think will be actually fun for the first time in a while. Um, but yeah, until now, I'm leaving my uh, volcano colony well behind, even though I can teleport it at any time, but shush. <laughs> Um, and I, I think that's def definitely the end of this series, because no fucking way am I rebuilding any of that crap. Um, I mean, reconstructing lovingly that wonderful place that I call home. I'm going back to my fucking snow colony. That was safe, even if the frame rate was bollocks. Okay, so um, subscribe if you want to see more Starbound videos in the future. Um, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go down here and jump in the ocean. <laughs> subscribe for more stuff um, along the Starbound lines, and a lot more besides. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I don't think I've been to, to one of these planets, but... Oh, this is... Oh, this is much better. Um, I know. Let's start a colony. Hooray! Uh, actually, um, maybe, maybe not. <laughs>